In Japan, the Japanese uh, Society of Cardiology said that everybody with a cholesterol over 220 should get a statin. So this is 41,000 patients who are on statins. And as they take statins, their cholesterol levels are reducing. So you would expect that if your cholesterol level is coming down, you should be at lower risk of dying. But as you can see on the graph, the lower your cholesterol, greater the risk of all-cause mortality, the greater the risks of cancers, the greater the risks of strokes. How does that make sense? Now, in that same study, we evaluated the number of diabetics. So you would think that if statins are good for you, as you reduce the cholesterol, you should have a lower incidence of diabetes. But as you can see, as the cholesterol got reduced by the use of simvastatin, that was the group that had the highest risk of being a diabetic. Now, we said that the cholesterol intermediates are involved in preventing oxidative injury because the phrenal intermediates take the protein manufacturing machinery uh, that we have and create selenoproteins that prevent oxidative damage. They also make some DNA repair enzymes that prevents injury to our cells so that we don't get cancers. So this is the function of the cholesterol intermediates. So again, the deception from the statin industry and the statin experts is that let's go on offense and say that statin use is associated with a reduced chance of having mortality if you have cancers. So they took a Danish population, 40 years and older, all of them had cancers, and they're comparing people who are not on statins to people who are on statins. Again, this is an unfair comparison. The reason is that if you have high cholesterol and you have cancers, you have a better chance of survival. And you would give cholesterol-reducing medicines only to somebody who has high cholesterol, not to somebody who has low cholesterol. So similarly, the comparison should be that somebody on low dose, middle dose, and high dose, if cholesterol is beneficial in preventing them from dying, the higher the cholesterol, the lower should, the higher the statin dose, the lower should be your mortality but not so. In this study, if you were on the highest dose of cholesterol, you had a much greater chance of all-cause mortality and also of cancer mortality compared to the low-dose cholesterol group. This is a study done in patients 65 years and older, called an older population, and I looked at that and I said, what do you mean, 65 is old? <laughs> but anyway, there were 3,000 patients in each group. The pravastatin use reduced cholesterol by roughly 33%. They were followed for three years. What happened? The people on pravastatin had 50 more cancers approximately it was statistically significant.